Hi everyone, it's Anne here again. I made these yesterday and I was really pleased with how they turned out. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to get straight into it and show you how I made them. Well first of all, you need some um, of this dark turquoisey paper. You know, if you've already got one, maybe one like this, and this in my stash, you could use something like that. But if you haven't, then it's very easy just to paint one. I've got these three coloured paints, an orange, a turquoise and a black. And here I have a brush. And I'm just going to put the paint straight on the card. And spread it around. Now, you don't have to have any painting skills whatsoever because I'm literally going to slop it on. Touch of orange on the top and if there's any black left we'll use a little bit of black. Okay, and I'm just going to literally spread that around like that. Okay, now we need to leave that to dry, but fortunately I've got one that I did earlier, so I'll just change it over for that one. Okay, so this one's nice and dry. So what to do next is just to cut out a tag shape from it and place it in an embossing folder. I'm using this one. It's a Sizzix one. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I'm sure if you look up on the Sizzix site, you'll find it if it's still current. Or it could, I've had it such a long time, it could be a discontinued one, but there may be something similar. So I've cut out my tag and I've placed it in the embossing folder. And I've just run it through the big shot. So now I've got this piece here that's um, painted, cut into a tag shape and put through the embossing folder. <coughs> and now I'm just going to put the gold on it. I've got this gold wax here. You can use any metallic wax or paint that you've got. Uh, I hate getting it on myself for some reason, but I don't like to wear gloves, so I'm just going to cut the finger off one of my rubber gloves and put that on like that. And then just keep it on a flat surface and go over the top of it lightly. So you're only actually putting gold on the very top of the embossing. And it still lets the colours underneath show through. I did try it with some other embossing folders. I've got some samples to show you in a minute. Okay. And we've been all over that. You can see how it's picked up the top of the numbers and it really makes them stand out. But to finish off the edge I'm going to go around with my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go around the very very edge. Now this does not have to be neat. In fact the more um, lumpy and bumpy it is the better it looks when it's finished. So I'm just going to put a little bit all around the edge. You probably can't see it on the camera but you'll see it in a minute when the wax goes on. Okay, I'll just put that there to dry. While it's drying, I've got a sheet of um, <coughs> reinforcements here. I'm going to put some on top of the reinforcements. 
Okay, that's it now for this. We'll let those dry. Okay. Now I'm going to go around the edge. And it makes the edge really stand out. Okay, <clears throat> I think that looks really old and gnarly around the edges, I like that. And we'll just do these ring, um, reinforcements. It's easier to do them while they're still in their housing. I always do a few extra because it saves you having to do it next time you're looking for one. Okay. I'll get rid of that. So I'll just make a hole in here just stick that down there and we're done that was so quick and easy okay so you can put a chain in the top or whatever you like I thought they look good with chains in it's also got a key on. Now I made some small ones out of the leftovers on the sheet and I just punched out a, a, a circle with a, a round punch and then did exactly the same thing. Put them in the embossing folder and then went around the edge with some hot glue like that. Now just to show you, if you haven't got a similar embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder. So this one is a completely different one. It's just got lumps and bumps on it. And I actually went over it with the gold and then went back over it with a black, uh, just a black um, ink pad because I preferred it to the gold. But it's up to you, whatever you think you like the best. So that was a different folder. This is a different folder again with swirls on it. And for these ones, these three, <clears throat> I actually used some of my jelly prints that didn't come out the way I wanted them to. So rather than waste them, I just used them as backgrounds for these. I like that one, how that one's come up. So, there you have it. These are still my favourites. But as I say, you can use any embossing folder. You don't have to have the same one I've got. Alright. Well, that was quick and easy. I hope you have fun making some. And I'll be back again soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.